Hello everyone, this is Ernie Hartman, Technical Services Manager at AMP Global. In this video, we're going to review how to update the firmware as well as set up features on a BCI interface. Let's get started. So as you can see here, I have a BCI CH41, I have a micro USB cable, and I have a USB port that is connected to the USB hub on my computer. So since we're doing a BCI CH41, we come over here to the website and search that part number. Click the link that shows up. So now that we're on the product page, we come down here to the firmware revisions tab. And here you'll find step-by-step -step instructions on the process I'm going over. So it's there if you need to review it later. So the first thing we need to do, if we've never done this before, is download and install the BCI PC application. Obviously, if you've done this before, you can skip this step. But the application can be found all the way down here at the bottom, BCI PC application. So we'll go ahead and click download. Now I've created a folder on my computer called update files. That way you can save everything in that folder and it's easy to find later. So let's go ahead and save this there. So then the next thing we need to do is download the firmware file we want. So you always want to get the one that's at the top of the list. That's the latest version. So we'll click download. And we'll save that into the same folder. All right, so now we have both of our files. We need to browse to that folder. It's here on the desktop, update files. So here we have it. So next we need to extract the executable from the zip file. So you will right click, extract here. Now you can go ahead and delete the zip file. So the next step is to install the program. Double click that. So when you first start installation, you will get this window. So we'll go ahead and hit next. Next. Next, and install. So now you get this warning. We click yes. And now finish. So now there's two ways that you can get to this newly installed program. One is by the shortcut on your desktop, and the other is by going here to the start menu. You can scroll down to BCI, and click that. And so now here we go. We've opened up the BCI app. So now what we want to do is connect our USB cable to the computer. And then connect the micro end to the module. So now you can see the LEDs are flashing, which indicates it's communicating with the PC. You can see here we have software version 14 on it, and we downloaded 15. So to update the firmware, we go here, and then select file, and then we can browse again to that folder, and here we go, V15. So now we double click that, this is current version 14, new version 15, do you want to update? Yes. All right, update complete. So now we've updated the firmware, and you can verify that by going to the About, and you see there it's version 15. So something else I want to show you while we're in here, it's cool about the BCI interface. If you come over here and click on Configure, you can set up your camera options if you're using this with a VS41. So you can set your blind spot cameras to behave however you want. They can be double tap of the turn signal, so that's one tap, and then turn signal on. You can set them to be on all the time with a turn signal, or you can set them to be with a turn signal above a certain mile per hour. I actually have one of these in my vehicle, and my favorite is above 30. So that way you're not looking at the blind spot camera when you're sitting in traffic at a red light. Mm -hmm. And you can set up behavior of the front camera as well. 
So you can do greater than or less than. You can do manual only with a steering wheel control or toggle switch. Or you can do on when shift in to drive until 6. That's my personal favorite. This one here, on when shift out of reverse, that's for manual vehicles only. So let's go ahead and set it to that. And then you can go over here to interface user options. And as you can see, the BCI has lots of cool little tricks you can use it for. You, it has three programmable outputs, so you can set these to behave however you want. Again, for the setup in my vehicle, I have one and two for accessory, and then I have three set up to trigger on forced reverse camera image. So that means it will give me a 12 volt output whenever I force the reverse camera. I actually use that to trigger a secondary video switcher to show my cargo cam whenever I do that. You can switch around your source and preset, volume and track. We have remote start restore climate. So basically what it does is when you remote start the vehicle, it turns the climate control into the last setting instead of just barely blowing anything. You got eco mode memory. You can turn that off and on because whenever you restart the vehicle, it defaults to on, as does start stop and sport mode. And then you have the EQ presets, which is uh, something that allows you to control your factory EQ through your cluster. And that's covered more in the instructions. So that's it. There you have it. That's how you update the firmware on a BCI, as well as set up the uh, camera and interface user settings through the app. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next video.